wake up. Okay, guys, Ryan here with Wake Up Real Estate. Uh, just adding a few of these banner images to the site and figured I'd share uh, how we go about building these in Canva, in case you're curious. So uh, you see we have some animations on it. We have some uh, colorful stuff. We have this icon with the house. So it's just going to kind of uh, show you how this was built. And I guess what I'll do is I'll just uh, delete out what's here already and take it step by step. So the first thing we'll do is let's get the uh, check your home value now in yellow text done. So I'm going to go ahead and click add a heading here in Canva. I'm going to type in check your home your home value now. And you know I didn't even mention you're going to start a new uh, you know blank template and you're going to pick a size it's kind of where we're at i kind of skipped that step but canva kind of guides you through that but anyway check your value now if we want to change the fonts i can't remember what i used here see you got a lot of different ones here i think it was this one and then what we're going to do to put the yellow behind it right here is we are going to highlight it and then we're going to pick effects like so and then choose the background and then you'll choose your color but it was already set to yellow because i had done that before and you can mess with the transparency if you want like that then in the image it's kind of tilted to the side so i'm going to move it toward the top here and then there's this little kind of spinny thing down toward the bottom and it looks like my image might have been a little bigger we'll do like that okay so that's that part now, next, let's do the house icon right here. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to elements, if I remember correctly, and I'm going to type in house icon. <laughs> you just type house icon, and you can, you'll see that you get a bunch of different uh, house icons. So which one was that in here? Okay, I had to type in house with dollar sign and I'm still not finding the same one but we're just going to use uh, this guy right here we'll get it as close as we can and what you can do is you can change the colors that are used with that like so so you can change the colors but I'd really like the one that I had once okay this pro one will let me show you what I wanted to show you and that is that you can change the colors and it'll kind of change the whole thing up like that so I think you get it so we'll just go green there not sure where the one I had went, but we're just going to power through. So there we go. And in this one, I, all I did was black, and I just filled the middle with green. It let me do that. So the different, the different uh, stock ones will let you do it differently. Next thing we have is our arrow. So let's take the arrow. Let's get one of those. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click Elements here, and then I'm going to search Arrow. And you'll notice they actually have the arrow up top. And then I just took one of these curved guys here. It's white, so it looks invisible. And I picked this blue. I picked that blue. I spun it around with our little spinny thing, like so. Okay. And then this one is drawing and moving. I think I picked a slightly different one, arrow here. But let's just keep going. And the way that I got that to move is probably what you're wondering. And we see we have our click here sign. But the way I have the arrow moving is by clicking the animate up here. So we click the animate. And you see you have all these different effects off to the left. So not quite remembering which one that was i think it might have been this drift one but that works and you'll see that you can change the intensity sometimes you can change the speed so the rise here for example i can change the speed so just play with the animations those are a lot of fun i really don't like this icon okay i found the right one i think it says home value not house icon <laughs> but anyway uh, again we'll switch the color Sorry to make you watch me do that 10 times. So there's that. And then we have last our little click here text. So subheading, click here. We'll tilt it a little bit. We can bold it, pick effects, change the color, whatever we'd like to do. I had it all in red, so we highlight it all. 
make it red like so. Right at the end of the arrow. And we'll underline it. And then again, we can animate it if we want and do an effect, which I think in this one, that's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. So anyway, that's how you make the effects. And then the last step is just to click share and you can download it to your computer and then put it on the web wherever you need to using some simple HTML. Now you do want to download, you can download the video version, but you're most likely going to want to download the GIF or the GIF version so that uh, it kind of does the animation when you upload it somewhere. So there we have it, just a quick tutorial on some Canva stuff, making banners. Uh, we'll be adding more and more of these to the wakeup.realestate library. Go to www.wakeup.realestate uh, to access our banners and more little tips and tricks like this. That's Wake Up Real Estate.